Now let's explore some very common errors that we might make as we're learning to use the state machine. Now in this case, I've got a button with an on and off state. Now we've already created the listeners and the inputs, so let's explore our animations. In the on animation, our circle is a little bit bigger and it's also green, and then in the off animation, it's a little bit smaller and also white. What we'd expect to see is when you mouse over the button, it gets bigger and green, and then when we mouse out of it, it'll get a little bit smaller and go back to white. Now let's go ahead and start up the state machine and see what happens. Well, when we mouse over our button, it does get bigger and it turns green, but when we mouse out, as you can see, we've gone back to the off timeline, but our button is still stuck in this green state and it's still bigger. It seems like our listeners and our inputs are correct, so there must be something else wrong that's actually happening inside the timelines. Now this is one of the most common mistakes that we'll make as we build out our first state machine. So let's go ahead and stop the state machine and explore the fix for this. So let's go ahead and stop the state machine and we'll go into the on timeline and you can see here that everything looks right. We've uh, changed the scale and we've changed the color and then everything also looks right in this animation. Our button's the right size, it's also white. So what could be the problem? Well, in this case, we've actually set keys in the on animation, but if we go back to the off animation, you'll notice that we didn't actually set any keys. So why does it look correct when we start the state machine? Well, that's because our off state is sort of referencing our design state, which is the button in that small size and white. And then when we go to the on animation, we're changing the color and size, but then when we come back, we don't have any keys to tell us what the size should be or what the color should be. So to fix this, it's pretty simple. We need to do the same thing in the off animation that we're doing here in the on animation. We need to set some keys for the scale and we need to set some keys for the color. So let's go ahead and set those scale keys. And then we'll also set a key to make sure that we can return to this color. Now you can see we've got the same types of keys that we have in both the on and off uh, states. So now if we go back to our state machine and play it, everything should work just like we expect. Our button gets bigger, and then when we mouse out, it gets smaller. Now let's look at another example. In this case, we have three different timelines that'll play in order. So we'll play timeline one, and then timeline two, and then timeline three, and then back to timeline one, and then repeat the process over and over again. Now in timeline one, we have our rectangle that's appearing, and then in timeline two, it disappears, and then timeline three, it reappears. So timeline one and three are the same. The only thing that's changing here is timeline two, where we make the square transparent. Now, let's go ahead and play the state machine and see what happens. You'll see that our square becomes invisible, but it never actually comes back on. You might think that the square would come on when it goes to timeline three or timeline one, but it never actually does. In this case, we've done the exact same thing as before. We set a key to make our square transparent, but there aren't any keys to turn it back on again. The first state is referencing our design state. The second, we make a change. And then in the third, it's referencing the design state again. So once again, we didn't set any keys, so we need to go back and actually do that just like we did here with this opacity key in our second timeline. So let's go into timeline one and set an opacity key. So we'll select the rectangle, key the opacity. So this should have fixed our problem. We've keyed the opacity in both our timeline one and timeline two, and they're both referencing that opacity key for the same object. So now when we play the state machine, we'll see that the square disappears and then reappears over and over and over again. The main point is that even though your animations may look right individually, when you put them together in the state machine, some problems can happen. If things are appearing at a position or not appearing at all, make sure you check your animations and ensure that you have things keyed.